Do you know what has five hearts and turns garbage into fertilizer? Here's a hint. A group of them is called the squirm, and about a pound of them can convert a ton of garbage in a year. Hi, I'm Mark Murphy. The answer this week on Town & Country Ontario. garbage. A lot of problems with a lot of solutions and one of them might be worms. They've been called nature's soil makers. It's said that Cleopatra considered them sacred. Removing a worm from Egypt was punishable by death. Aristotle called them intestines of the earth. And Charles Darwin, after studying them for about 40 years, said worms are possibly the most important creatures on the planet. Yet most of us don't give them a second thought, and some of us are repulsed. It's interesting, I do a lot of environmental shows, so where you have the booths, and they'll be at my neighbor's booth, and then they'll be walking along, and oh, what do you have here? And when I say that I do worm composting, some people actually take a step back, like they're attack worms, <laughs> and say ick or ooh, so I labeled that the ick factor. Kathy Nesbitt is a worm enthusiast with a mission to convert people and their garbage. If you suffer the ick factor, Kathy's the cure. When somebody says ooh or ick, or they step back, I, I ask them, what is it that's so creepy about worms? They can't bite you, they don't have teeth, not yet. <laughs> um, they can't sneak up on you, there's really nothing they can do. And it, once I explain about worm composting and that it can be done indoors and what they can convert and all this stuff, um, people start saying, wow, that's amazing. I didn't know they were capable of this, and what a great solution for, again, for apartments or condominiums, for people that don't have backyards. Without worms and their poop or castings, soils would be barren. We owe a heap to these lowly creatures, constantly churning the earth, changing deadfall to nutrients, feeding the soils and all that comes from them. It's quite amazing. They consume half their weight um, daily in organic matter. So if you had a pound of worms, they can con convert three to four pounds of, uh, of waste per week. And if you scale that up, 100 pounds, three to 400 pounds a week, 1,000 pounds of worms, three to 4,000 pounds a week. So it's really quite, quite amazing what they can do. The castings that come out of the worms, or the worm poo, each individual casting is encased in gel. And as in nature, as it goes through the soil, they get deposited through the soil and it's like a time re release capsule. And the earth takes from it as it needs it. If you're an average Canadian, you produce roughly one ton of garbage every year. And about a third of all household waste is organic matter, worm food, waiting to become nutrient rich fertilizer. Yet most is trucked to landfill. We are very irresponsible in our ways of disposing waste. I don't know how many garbage trucks go into Michigan every day. And it just, it really, it drives me crazy. I just think it's such a waste, all these trucks traveling 350 kilometers one way. <laughs> Why would we throw out a resource? I mean, we pay to dispose of it, and then we go and buy compost and fertilizer and topsoil, whatever, when we can make our own. Kathy and legions like her say worms are key to solving our garbage woes, nature's way. So with no further ado, here's Kathy to show you how. So just like traditional backyard composting, the worms require a carbon-nitrogen mix. The carbon comes from the shredded paper, leaves, straw, carbon, etc. So in addition to the, the, uh, uh, the shredded paper, you add in a, a liter of soil, and the soil adds microorganisms and grit. The worms have a gizzard, so it helps them digest their food. In addition to the soil and the paper, you add about two tablespoons of agricultural lime, crushed eggshells, and that helps to balance the acidity in the bedding. You mix this all up, and once you get it all mixed up, you do a little squeeze test. The worms are about 90% moisture, so a couple of drops should come out, and then it's red, the bedding's ready for the worms. So in a bin like this, you would have worms, which is a pound of worms. So we'll just add the worms in. They will make their way naturally down into the bedding, 
And then once the worms are added in, then you, you can bury your scraps. So you, you pull back the bedding, add in your chopped up scraps. The more you chop up your scraps, the more exposed surface, the faster it breaks down, the more the worms can eat. So once you've added your scraps in, make sure they're well covered with the bedding. You put the lid on. The worms don't like the light, so a dark lid is good. This bin here has been going for a couple of weeks. The worms are well established here. You can see the worms have made their way amongst the shredded paper and the food scraps, and they just eat half their weight and they keep on squirming away. So after about three to five months, the worms will have converted all of the food scraps, although you keep adding bedding and food in, and then you're left with beautiful uh, worm castings or worm poo. So when your bin looks like this, it's time to harvest. And how you harvest, there's several methods. The easiest is the dump and sort. So you take your bin and you dump the contents out onto a plastic sheet under bright light. So outside on a sunny day is perfect. You set it into pyramid shaped piles. The worms don't like the light, so they're gonna go down to the bottom of the piles. So then you just wait for a few minutes and let the worms make their way down into the piles. So I set this one up earlier, this sample harvest. So the worms have already made their way down to the bottom. You just scoop off the top bits until you come to worms. So there's worms here. So you just leave that pile and you, they'll make their way, continue to make their way down into the pile. So you move on to the next pile, scoop off the top part. Any recognizable bits, you just set them aside and they get added in to your, to your new bedding and the cycle starts all over again. And you take the castings, you top dress your house plants as you water, the nutrients are released or you can use them in your gardens. Kathy and her traveling worm show have delighted and informed thousands. Like Cleopatra, she's captivated with the ways of the worm, and with good reason. After all, the ancient Chinese character for earthworm translates to angels of the earth. <laughs>